scrimmage and then there is proper containment from the outside fuller then coming back in making the tackle here and they fake it and tech is there disagree with this call golden needs to get the points when he's down and on the road i know it's an important game but he's gone down the field you got to kick the three and take the points Virginia Tech, known for those special teams. They're not going, going to be surprised. Again. Now, Virginia Tech. Pokies want to throw on first down and get a complete pass to Danny Cole. A perfect strike from Logan Thomas. IQ for football. Thomas in the shotgun. He is an enormous quarterback. 6'6", 254. Is that caught? It appears that it is by Jarrett Boykin today. And they thought that basically was what cost him the ball game. Four-man rush. Boykin again to the 44-yard line of the Hurricanes. And it was returning from an NCAA suspension. Seeing his first action was in on the tackle. You see the composure and the calm in the pocket that Logan Thomas has. He has the big arm from up high throwing the ball. Yeah. Thomas goes to the shotgun. He's had no pressure on him. Throws underneath again. It's his flanker. Boykin, he's got a first down. Six-yard cushions on your receivers outside is really going to be pitch and catch throughout the... 
They'll go with four wide receivers. Pressure coming from Miami. And the pass caught by the tight end, Chris Drager. Only his second catch of the entire year, 22 yards. Yeah, that's a true freshman. This is just poor timing on the blitz. You're going to have single coverage on the outside. And when you're asking a true freshman linebacker to cover one-on-one -on -one out there, it's going to be rough. Right. I got tired watching it. <laughs> Thomas Keeper. That is a 6'6", 254-pound quarterback who makes the fake to David Wilson, leaves it in his belly as long as he can, then pulls it out and walks in. Edge also had a nice block on this touchdown run. 33's in the game. This was how I thought they should use Logan Thomas today. Let him get his legs going. Use that big body. Harris. Steps in the one, had a tip, almost incomplete. J. Ron Hosley, who said, well, we got three off of them last year. Maybe this week we can get three more. And Brooks, by the way, the right guard is back in there. Pressure. Thomas takes off, lowers the shoulder, and he's got a first down. Well, if you're that big, make him pay. Well... that his shoulder is okay. He had a little banged up shoulder and they tried to protect him. He takes on Sean Spence, great linebacker, great football player. At the end of a quarter here in Blacksburg. Envisioned himself catching passes and not throwing them, even though for two years he played quarterback in high school. But he's in there to throw right now. He hits this one for a touchdown. Danny Cole, 40 yards. Now six of seven, throwing the football, two rushes, 18 yards. Miami's defense, not aggressive, have no idea who they're supposed to be covering. He goes in motion. They'll throw him a little swing pass. And Virginia Tech is right there up from the corner. Kyle Fuller. And really supporting quick, not allowing Lamar Miller to get any kind of momentum and a head of steam. Exceptional speed around 4-3, and he can break tackles. But he's not going to break that one. James Gale, who we were told probably wouldn't come back because of an ankle injury, apparently didn't get that injury report because he's back out there and making plays. What? Hands, top of the screen, the left guard, see the hands, and throws the blockers and the people, and no one gets to him. Now, again, this defensive line is depleted. Antoine, Antoine Hopkins, their best guy, is out for the season with an ACL. And so Harris in the shotgun. Blitz coming. Harris got away initially and then knocked down at the 35-yard line. And Alonzo Tweedy, number 28, Tariq Edwards, number 24, made the tackle after Bruce Taylor flushed him up in the pocket. Six folks coming. Not enough blocking. Great start for Logan Thomas who rolls to his right and throws complete right on cue to Marcus Davis. Wilson hasn't been that much of a factor yet. He'll get a carry here. Cuts it outside, gets a block on the corner, midfield, 45. 15-yard gain. And here is this, this zone read, this little respect now that they have for Logan Thomas maybe keeping the football is getting the defense flat-footed. They're starting hush. Then we got more than 200 yards a game. Wilson trying to add to today's total. Down to the 37-yard line, and we'll check it. Pulls the man in motion. Wilson. Well, they're getting a big dose of Wilson on this possession. He's down to the 20. It's another first down. Be hard to stop. Look at the success of the offensive line. Greg Nosel up there, and then a, a very important part there. Look at the covering up here right at the end. Almost fumbles. He has three fumbles on the season, and the awareness to really go back and hold on to that, an important thing and an issue that 
Oglesby will come in to give him a breather. Instead, they throw out to the flat to Marcus Davis, and Davis is inside the 15. As far as Wilson, the Harris with time. Deep down the sideline. Out down. Yeah, that was just a beautifully thrown football by Harris on the outside to where only the receiver had a chance for it. Not sure he has possession yet. I, I, I think it's a good call. I think was, by the time he possessed it. Was his right foot on the ground when he caught it? I don't think he has don't secured so. it yet while the ball... I think you're right. The ruling on the field was an incomplete pass. The previous play is under further review. Now, that when the ball hit his hands, his right foot is on the ground. I just don't know that he has possession at, the, at that point. That's in his hands. It's in his hands. I think, you know... That's close, but I don't know if it qualifies as indisputable. And if you don't know, it doesn't. Nothing coming back at you, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Thought maybe your microphone died. Nope. <laughs> Always alive over here. <laughs> at least Miami threw the ball down the field and, and, and had a little bit of success there. And a good throw, And, and too. they really have to have their defense pick them up in this game. Virginia Tech's defense is playing a lot better than I expected them to play in this game, and, and uh, especially being without Antoine Hopkins, their defensive line has played extremely well, continued what they've been doing all season. Well, obviously his left foot did not get down. It came down out of bounds. But the right foot, the question is, did he have possession? And that angle, that's a great shot, guys. I think that angle shows his right foot was not down when he had possession of the football. Game of inches, you hear it all the time, but it's the truth. I think there's air. He's uh, his foot's up off the ground. I don't know. Yeah, I think that shows. But Wilson, now he's back in the game. He had a little bit of a rest, so he'll be fresh. Thomas. Chase from behind, didn't see the pressure, throws back and completes it to his tight end, Chris Drager. You can't ask for much more than that. Back to throw again, a little swing out in the flat. Wilson picked up maybe 10. You know, you hear about these guys have had enough biscuits. <laughs> Thomas all day to throw, dumps it again to his running back, Wilson. Logan Thomas showing he'll find him. Quick out. That'll be a first down to Boykins. And Boykins has rewritten the receiving record books here at Virginia Tech. Number one all time in catches, number one all time in yardage. The guy out there is making a ton of plays. <laughs> Flanker screen to the four. They hit DJ Coles. That block running. And Logan Thomas not only accurate, but throwing the catchable ball, the one where the receivers can continue up the field. He's just on fire. The quarterback keeps it midline. He's a huge weapon at his size. Yeah. That will be a first down and stop the clock at the 27-second mark. Sacked. He can't complete it short of the goal line. Thomas underneath, and... The official was knocked out of the way. Now makes the call. Touchdown, Wilson. He appeared to come down on the pylon, and the pylon would count as a touchdown. Linebackers were so focused on the inside. Really and concerned. A it's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. The previous play is under further review. That's a great play. But the linebackers on the inside who are supposed to be in the flats covering David Wilson were so concerned with Logan Thomas running the ball. Sure. Left him wide open out on the outside, and that's an easy three for David Wilson. The review, the rolling on the field, stance is called. Touchdown. Didn't take long. Virginia Tech 21, Miami 7. Now let's head to the studio for our halftime report. Turnovers. If they're out there 12, 13 plays, it's going to be... It's going to be bad news. Mark D'Onofrio, the defensive coordinator, says there are just too many guys freelancing. And if you play a defense that relies on people. 
Good play fake. Here comes the pressure. The ball's loose. Virginia Tech will get it back. Recovered by the lineman, Andrew Lanier, who shows, hey, I may be 306, but I can run it. Two yards on that play. Now, I told you earlier that in high school, Andrew Lanier was a tight end. He had a flashback. He had a 100-pound flashback, and he said, I'm going with this thing. <laughs> 33 yards a kick. He turns it over. Boy, gets a big hand for that kick. Virginia Tech trying to cover, and they do on Travis Benjamin. A 52-yard punt for Michael Brenthover and an ovation from the sellout crowd. He was in between. Sure did. Check in with Robert. They're number three in the country. They're supposed to do that. Wilson. Nice cut. Now, the thing that's happening here is that Miami's defensive line, you see three people get lined up just inside there. There's no containment. Wilson, they're, they're on the backside. I mean, you can't allow David Wilson to get outside like this. His favorite target today has been Boykin. They'll go to Cole instead, and Cole has a first down in Miami territory before you're only going to rush four players and drop seven you have to identify and defend the first down marker you see that yellow line there who's defending that when you're when you're a man rush Wilson he's still on his feet what a run game seventh in the country in Russia that's an all-american run right there oh that is phenomenal balance. that that is phenomenal and now you know why they preached all week get to the football David Wilson just doesn't give it up easily that, he, I mean that's oh, that, how about that usually ran when a, over Brandon Wilson again big hole nice cutback 20 down to the 16 yard line that's, Wilson attacks the line of scrimmage. Look at the number of white jerseys. You see that? I don't care. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that's bad defense. And that's a sign of lack of discipline and fatigue. And Wilson just hit 100 yards for his fifth 100-yard goal tries. This would make it a 10-point ball game. And does. Miami never say die. They're driving down by 10. Thomas has Oglesby in the backfield with him. Goes deep down the middle. Complete to Boykin. Boykin, 60 yards. Touchdown. Boy, how easy was that? It looked like the same pattern, the same play they ran early in the ballgame. And it worked the same way. Obviously, Miami's defense wasn't listening to our on-camera. No. <laughs> that was set up perfectly the previous series. Nine runs out of an 11-play drive. Miami started thinking, suck up. Play. 22, 279 yards, three touchdown passes, and a touchdown run. Going to be pretty tough to whip up on him this week. Was peeling back, got a great block for him. That was 37 yards. Harris now under pressure, and down he goes. Bruce Taylor on the blitz, the leading tackler for this ball club, and the Hokies apply pressure. Got Wilson with him. Wilson on the toss. Had a hole that closed quickly. Still picks up eight, maybe nine yards. Accounting for 25 yards in loss. Miller breaks through. Lamar Miller on second and goal from the 30. Holy cow. Keep in mind, Logan Thomas in this game, 20 of 22 in passing. He's been red hot. Completes this one to Cole up to the 39-yard line. Danny Cole at reliable wideout. 
no reason for a sense of urgency here. Plenty of time. Make sure you get your play called, get your line ready, and recognize who they're going to block. Yeah, oodles of time. 235 with four timeouts. Good protection again. The pass for the first down and out of bounds goes Marcus Davis. Logan Thomas told us he had to avoid happy feet, not see the rush, feel the rush, and be able to look downfield and make the throws. Boy, has he done it today. He's had happy feet, all right. <laughs> now, now, don't forget, in the backfield, David Wilson, a guy who can take it the distance at any moment. So run the ball, plenty of time to sneak a running play in there. 305 yards passing. That is a career high for Logan Thomas. Trying to build his own legend, taking over for Tyrod Taylor. Swings it out in the flat. Wilson got what he could, knocked out of bounds. That's like a swing pass. That's a, I mean, a, a toss sweep. Yeah. That's a good high percentage throw. Getting into the playmaker's hand. David Wilson, like Lamar, one of those guys that can just go the distance every time he touches the football. Absolutely. Well, they came in number seven and number eight in the country in rushing, separated by only two one hundredths of a yard on an average game. Throughout this game, Miami has opted to rush four for the most part. We'll see if they change that up. They have not generated any pressure unless they brought more than that. Wilson, first down and more. Still on his feet, knocked out of bounds inside the 30. Tag and to prohibit them from having to panic. They've got Wilson just get the ball in his hands. That helps this play action if they come up with it. He has rushed for 121 yards. Put these teams together. We've had 950 yards in total offense against two defenses that have traditionally been very proud. Wilson inside the 25 Denzel Perriman made the tackle Virginia Tech will use one of its timeouts they'll have two left one second left but you don't have that choice most of the time quarterback keeper Thomas and they're going to be ripping at that football Sean Spence led the charge Wilson struggling forward inside the 20. They have to get to the 18-yard line. Crowd didn't like that call either. Go to the 18-yard line to keep this drive and the game alive. Thomas, quarterback, keeper. Holy cow, touchdown. Can you believe this? David Wilson and why not and the quarterback pulls it out and keeps it man oh man thirty seven thirty five the all important extra point which makes it a three point lead because Miami still has time left thirty eight thirty five 56 seconds, all their timeouts left. So that's a lot of time for Ja'Cory Harris. When you and Wilson, watch how the separation occurs between the two of them. Thomas lets him get further down, which spread the defense out. They lost gap integrity. That's been a problem for this Miami defense this year. Good job blocking by Virginia Tech's offensive line. Big Greg Nosel coming around 75, doing his job and opening the hole up in there. But what, the way this thing's been going, Miami and Ja'Cory Harris have plenty of time. That was a huge hole right up the middle. And that time, that was a great read by the quarterback. It, it was just more patient. Yes. You know what? David Wilson's got to keep going hard because when he goes hard, that opened that defense up. It made him challenge him and chase him to the outside. Just listen to this.
overtime game at Lane Stadium. We're staring one in the face right now. Benjamin and Miller are deep. Benjamin on the hop. Got a couple of blocks to the 25, 27, still going. Out of bounds near the 30. 47. Miller has gained 166 yards today. But now it's going to be up to Ja'Cory Harris. All day to throw, can't find anybody. And that's incomplete. This crowd is going crazy. Harris with the out complete to Hearns. Third and three for Harris. James. First down, that'll stop the clock at the 45 with 25 seconds to go. They burned Lickinson two timeouts to work with for Ja'Cory Harris. The red line is where they're trying to get to that would give them a reasonable shot of the field goal. Harris burning a lot of time here being pressured, throws to the sideline and throws it away. Down to 19 seconds. Miller's wide, high to the top of the field. Benjamin's in motion. Three-man rush. They'll drop eight. Harris deep down the middle and overthrown. That was intended for touchdown Tommy Streeter, but the ball well overthrown. Now stop the clock. Get your field goal team on. You got a crack at the first overtime game ever at Lane Stadium. Harris up for grabs, incomplete. Right in the arms of Eddie Whitley and Tommy Streeter turned defensive back and knocked it out of his hands at the last moment. Seven in coverage and having a spy in the middle of the field. Now you've got a problem. Yeah. Five seconds left. That, that defensive strategy forced the long ball, which ate up the clock, and now has not given you a chance to catch one over the middle or to get out of bounds and call timeout. Now Miami wants to talk about it. Several of these pass plays in this last possession. The first one took 11 seconds off the clock. 11 seconds have resulted in incompletion. They have not managed the clock very well, but you, you can say that to Ja'Cory Harris, but if he can't find anybody open, he can't find anybody open. Let me tell you what has become open, this crowd. That makes the task of Al Golden and Ja'Cory Harris that much more difficult. You lose a little bit of your composure and your focus and understanding of the down and the distance in the game. At this point now, they've got, they cannot let the ball die inbound. Look at this. This is just spectacular. These people are losing their mind. This is beautiful.
Virginia Tech has one defender waiting back at the 15-yard line. Harris throws it underneath. Caught by Miller. Trying to stay alive. The clock is at zero. Virginia Tech wins. And you got to watch this whole game. What else could you conceivably ask for? It's one of the greatest games I ever saw. Frank Beamer has joined us. Frank, just your typical Saturday afternoon at Lane Stadium. Well, I'll tell you what. Miami's awfully good. And uh, I'm so proud of our football team. We just hung in there. Every time uh, they answered, we answered. Our offense, uh, I thought, really answered the call tonight. And really proud of them. Coach, how about the performance of Logan Thomas, 23 of 25, 310 yards and three touchdowns. You needed the trigger man to step up. Yeah, I thought he made some great decisions and, uh, you know, really came back. Uh, and like, you know, I thought he would. He's a poised guy. He's a smart guy. And uh, you want him as the leader of your football team. I'll tell you that right now. Frank, it was such a huge ball game for you and Miami. No team has ever started 0-2 in the conference and gone on to win the ACC. You are still alive, and I thought you proved a lot today. Yeah, you know, we got a couple of defensive guys hurt, and they were kind of matching us there a little bit. But I agree with you. I thought our football team showed something here. Still alive in the race. You told your team to hold their composure, to not panic. I don't think you did, did yeah, you? No, we hung in there till the very end. Frank, I know you've always been a, a defensive coach. A thousand and one yards in total offense someday, huh? Yeah, you know, like I said, we lost. We're missing two defensive linemen, and they just kind of mashed us a little bit there at the end. But, uh, you know, the important thing is to get a win, learn from it, and get better. And that's what we're going to plan to do. Thank you, Frank. We'll see you down the road. Okay, Congratulations. Hey, thank you. Once again, the final score, Virginia Tech 38, Miami 35. Tune in tonight for Saturday Night Football, presented by Southwest Airlines on ABC. Ohio State number 14, Nebraska at 8 Eastern. For Craig James and our entire crew, this is Mike Patrick. Hope you enjoyed it. So long from Blacksburg, Virginia.